What if I told you that the next phone scam you get might not just be a random unknown number, but could actually sound exactly like someone you trust? Imagine a call that sounds like your mom asking for help or your boss urgently requesting sensitive information or even your best friend's voice telling you they're in trouble. You wouldn't think twice, right? You'd react. But here's the twist, that voice may not be them at all. With AI voice cloning getting ridiculously good, scammers don't need hours of recordings anymore. Just a short clip, maybe from a TikTok or a WhatsApp note, is enough for them to copy someone's voice in real time. Terrifying, isn't it? Well, Samsung is stepping in with something that feels like a digital shield, tucked inside One UI 8, and it might just save a lot of people from falling into these traps. Welcome back viewers, Sam here, and before we dive deeper, make sure you hit like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe so you never miss out on the biggest tech stories first. Now, Samsung's new feature is called Voice Phishing Suspected Call Alert. At first, it sounds like just another boring anti-spam tool, but it's way more interesting than that. This isn't your usual scam likely, message popping up on the screen. This is AI that actually listens for suspicious behavior and patterns in real time and does it all on your device. That means no calls are being sent to Samsung's servers, nothing's uploaded to the cloud, and your privacy stays intact. Instead, your phone uses a database from South Korea's police from scientific agencies to instantly decide if a call seems shady. If it does, you'll get a pop-up alert, a sound, and even a vibration warning you before you even start talking. Think about that, it stops the scam before the scammer gets a single word in. Here's the catch though, it's only available in South Korea right now. That's the frustrating part. But the fact that Samsung rolled it out there first means one thing, they're testing it in a market where phone scams are a huge problem and once it's refined, there's a good chance it'll spread globally. Because let's be real, scams aren't just a Korea problem. They're everywhere, and with AI making them scarier by the day. This kind of built-in defense could become a must-have for every smartphone. But while that's the flashy, futuristic security feature making headlines, Samsung has been quietly making moves in another area, and this one might surprise you even more. One UI 8 isn't just coming to flagships like the S25 Ultra. Nope, it's sneaking into phones that most people wouldn't expect, starting with the Galaxy A26 5G. This is supposed to be a budget-friendly device, nothing too fancy, but out of nowhere, Geekbench spotted it running Android 16 with One UI 8. And let me tell you, the early test scores are interesting. The single core result was around 1015, with multi-core hitting 2824. Sure, those aren't jaw-dropping numbers, but remember, this is still an early build. Optimization is still happening behind the scenes, which means performance will only get better. The bigger story here isn't the numbers, it's the fact that Samsung is even testing One UI 8 on this phone. It wasn't on the roadmap, it wasn't expected, yet here it is. And if that wasn't enough, the Galaxy A36 just joined the club too. An internal beta package for One UI 8 has already popped up on Samsung's servers. Now you might think, so what? But here's why it matters. Samsung is lining up its broader beta registrations for September, which usually means flagships get priority. The fact that mid-range models are being tested early tells us Samsung is preparing for a much bigger rollout than most people thought. Think about it. What if budget phones get One UI 8 shortly after the S25 series instead of months later like usual? That would completely flip the script on how Samsung handles updates. And speaking of the S25, September is when things get really interesting. The stable One UI 8 rollout is expected to start around then, kicking off with the Galaxy S25 series. But based on everything we're seeing with these test builds, don't be surprised if mid-range phones like the A26 and A36 are lined up close behind. That's a huge win for users who usually get left waiting. Now, let's circle back to that voice phishing protection, because this is where the real potential lies. Right now, it only works for outgoing calls, basically when you dial an unsaved number. That's great for catching suspicious lines, but let's be honest, scammers usually call you. Imagine if Samsung expands this to incoming calls. That would be a total game changer. A scammer calls you, the AI instantly flags it, and you know not to pick up. Pair that with global rollout, and suddenly, Samsung sets the standard for call safety across the smartphone industry. It's also worth noting that this all works without needing a constant internet connection. Everything happens locally on the phone. No data leaves your device. 
That's a huge deal for trust, especially in an era where people are already paranoid about who's listening in. So here's where we stand. Samsung has quietly packed One UI 8 with security smarts while also surprising us with unexpected device support. We've got a life. Saving AI tool already live in South Korea. Budget phones like the A26 and A36 secretly running early builds and a flagship rollout waiting in September. All of this signals one thing. Samsung is moving faster and more strategically than usual. And it feels like they're preparing for a massive global rollout that's not just about looks or features, but about making your phone smarter and safer in ways that actually matter. The only questions left are, when will this hit more countries? Will Samsung unlock it for incoming calls? And what other hidden tricks are waiting in One UI 8? Whatever the answers, one thing is certain, we're only seeing the tip of the iceberg right now.